Today's message is about coming into the living waters of Jesus Christ. Heather and I, we found ourselves in Hawaii going to school and we absolutely fell in love. We had the chance to explore different places in Hawaii as we went to school. There's thousands of beaches you can go to in Hawaii. If you want a good shore break, you go to Waimea. If you want a good sunset, Sunset Beach. But there's one beach that's killed more than any others and it's called Queen's Bath. Now Queen's Bath on a normal day, it's beautiful. Tropical fish, sea turtles. But as the tide changes, it becomes a death trap. It's become so problematic in the state of Hawaii, they've actually produced videos on trying to prevent people from going to Queen's Bath. Families will ask, where is Queen's Bath? Hotel directors and others have been instructed to say, Queen's Bath. Wow, sorry, I cannot give you direction. It's very dangerous. You've seen the shows where they say, don't try this at home. Don't bring your family there. It's very dangerous. They've also put a plaque on the outside of Queen's Bath. And it's a warning. With a skull and crossbone, it reads, Unexpected large waves will knock you off rocks and sweep you out to sea. And they tally the number of people who have drowned at Queen's Bath to help warn the people to stay out of Queen's Bath. Now, there's many reasons why spiritually we may find ourselves in Queen's Bath. There are many things in the world to tempt us. There's many commandments we can break. But the answer to the problem is very simple. Get out of Queen's Bath and go down the road to the living waters of Jesus Christ. As we do, we will find ourselves happy and healthy. And during this time of reflection and during this time of commitment, we will find ourselves not in Queen's Bath, but in the living waters of Jesus Christ. Some people would ask, why would someone still want to go to Queen's Bath with all the warning signs? Well, maybe some people might have confidence about their swimming abilities and say, I'm just going to put my feet in for just a moment. And then before they know it, they're ankle deep, waist deep, and then before they know it, they're in very serious trouble. As we're obedient to Heavenly Father's commandments, we can find ourselves very far away from Queen's Bath. Thomas S. Monson had said, the greatest test of this life is obedience. Even if you're in Queen's Bath, the answer is simple and it comes from Jesus Christ. Come unto Him, leave Queen's Bath behind and go to the living waters of Jesus Christ. It will make you happy. Our invitation is simple to you today. Whatever commandment that you want to live better, make a determination today to be a better disciple of Jesus Christ. Christ, as he was talking about water, his invitation, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of living water springing up into everlasting life. So our message this week is not only to stay out of Queen's Bath, but to help rescue someone who's in Queen's Bath. Maybe they're tied up into an addiction or some other problem in their life. Invite them to leave the very dangerous place of Queen's Bath and come into the living waters of Jesus Christ. We have missionaries throughout all the world who are teaching families right now the gospel of Jesus Christ from their own home, through communication, through phones, the internet, and other means. Take advantage of these opportunities and you will find Jesus Christ this week abundant in your life. But those who do not quench this light within themselves can embark on an incredible journey, a wondrous migration toward heavenly climbs. When you walk the path of discipleship, when you move toward Heavenly Father, there is something within you that will confirm that you have heard the call of the Savior and set your heart toward the light. It will tell you that you are on the right path and that you are returning 
home.